What's going on, everyone? Hugh Finn News coming at you with another daily cryptocurrency market analysis. Today is September the 14th, 2017. The day the cryptocurrency market has made a tremendous fall. Today will be a day that will live in infamy for the cryptocurrency market because many of the cryptocurrencies fell today in double digits. Truly, truly, it is something that a lot of people felt as if it was going to happen. You saw a lot of individuals on YouTube and in the national media speaking that Bitcoin is not necessarily going to fall that far. But we told you guys in our video, September the 4th, that the market has given us a change of character. The market has changed. The momentum has changed on September the 4th to the downside. If you guys would have taken our prediction at that point, you guys would have been able to get out the market in time just before today's date. So that just tells you that was 10 days ago that we forecasted that the market was going to move lower and trend lower. And we finally have gotten that. And that's today, even though in between today and and on the 4th of September, the market was making sideways trading action and even went up a couple of trading days. But overall, the market was trending weaker. And we did all of that without using indicators, without using patterns, without using any of those sto stochastics, moving averages, whatever you want to call it. We don't need those indicators because we forecasted it before anybody else forecasted that the market was going to move lower. And with that being said, we are Hufin News, giving you guys news according to the charts. We are not investment advisors, nor are we trying to give you guys investment advice. But please, for the new subscribers who have subscribed to this channel, please make sure you go back and watch our video called Just Some of the Basics. This is a video that we have created so you guys can get just some of the basics, terminologies of what we use on our daily cryptocurrency market analysis. And you guys will be better off if you watch that video first because you might seem kind of lost with some of the words that i'll use during these daily cryptocurrency market analysis okay so please go and watch that video so you guys can understand what i mean by push to go down what i mean by trial run what i mean by consumption stockpile all those different terms you guys need to watch that video so you guys can understand but nevertheless we're going to go ahead and start out. Oh, yeah. Let me also tell you guys that uh, we start placing timestamps in these videos so you guys can go ahead and watch those important cryptocurrencies that you're more worried about rather than you guys sitting and watching for the next 16 to 21 minutes of a video until I finally get to your particular cryptocurrency that you want to see me analyze. So go ahead and just click on those particular timestamps so you guys can go ahead and get to that one that you're interested in. So now let's go ahead and see exactly what happened today in the market. So look at the market cap is now at one hundred and eight billion dollars. So there's like. Thirty two billion dollars have left the market in one day, thirty two billion dollars. And the sad thing about it is that according to Hufin News, the downward trend is not over yet. So if you guys are just itching to get back in the market because you think today is a perfect opportunity to get in hold on we don't see any precursors of strength on these price bars that you're about to look at on these cryptocurrencies you got to wait and be patient before you get back in the market and right now it is not the time to push your funds back into the market so now you guys can see that bitcoin was down 18.67 percent Ethereum is down 21%. And then you guys can see Ripple down 17, Bitcoin Cash 27, Litecoin 31, Dash 21, Now 27, IOTA 20, Monero 25, Ethereum Classic 34, Omisi Go 23, NEO 22. It was battering today in the cryptocurrency market. All these double digits losses occurred today in the cryptocurrency market and it seems as if 
someone is trying to make a point in the cryptocurrency market of how it is a fraud and the cryptocurrencies are not real nevertheless let's go ahead and look at these cryptocurrencies and we're going to start out with bitcoin you guys can see that it ended down 15.43 percent according to this bifinex exchange the last trade was at 32 three thousand two hundred sixty dollars and ten cents so let's go ahead and look at this daily price bar look at this we have this major push to go down bar today and the market closed at the almost the very bottom of today's bar so that tells us that the market is not ready for higher prices we're still expecting them to at least come down and hit this area of support all the way back from july around twenty nine hundred dollars the market could definitely come back down to that twenty nine hundred dollar area and act as support so we're still looking for bitcoin to make lower lows so now let's go ahead and check out ethereum ethereum is down 17.81 percent last trade was at 226 dollars and 49 cents So I'm going to go ahead and take off this area of support slash resistance that we have drawn because it is now pointless to have on a chart. So you guys can also see that Ethereum has given us today a push to go down bar. It is a precursor of weakness and you can see how the market came and touched back towards August the 2nd, 3rd and 4th, how the market was just trading here as support. So Ethereum is now trading there now, but since we have this major push to go down bar on this excessively climactic volume, you guys want to pay attention to that. We're expecting the market to also move lower and it could possibly come all the way back down to $180 dependent if the market is still nervous and wary about the trajectory of the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Okay, so be careful. If you guys you want to wait until we see precursors of strength on this particular price chart and we don't see that right now so the next level of support could possibly be around 180 dollars if from where it's trading at right now is not sufficient and we don't get any precursors of weakness at this price area currently so now let's go ahead and check out bitcoin cash So even with Bitcoin Cash, they are down 22.36%. Last trade was at $392.07. So even with Bitcoin Cash, push the go down bar, there's no interest in higher prices. You guys can see how it might come all the way back down towards if there's really no area of support for Bitcoin Cash unless it's coming down to $350, which is a possibility because we have this major push to go down bar. So the market is still overall weak. It might trade a little sideways tomorrow just to give it a break. But the condition of the whole cryptocurrency market is a precursor of weakness. So you want to wait until we get a definite precursors of strength bar to occur in the long for the long term to occur on these charts okay now if you're a short-term trader then definitely you can move down to the shorter time frames and you can see a precursor strength bar and you can trade that but overall for the long term it's going to take a definite precursor of strength bar to appear on these charts and then we will tell you guys that here on this channel at Houston news so we're expecting bitcoin cash to continue to move lower possibly break a little past that $360 area that's our next area of support for Bitcoin cash so now let's check out ripple so ripple is down 14.35 percent last trade was at 16 cents so by having this major push to go down bar we're expecting ripple to come down and hit 15 cents again around that area that was acting as support over the last couple of months 
So Ripple is definite predicted for it to definitely come down and hit this area of support. I'm go ahead and extend it out so we can have an area of reference for Ripple to come and touch to. And that is where we're expecting Ripple to go. Because it's definite precursors of weakness. Now the market may trade a little sideways tomorrow, might even move a little higher. But overall, it's still expected that Ripple will come and possibly hit this 14 cent area that we have drawn. So now let's check out Litecoin. Litecoin is down 26.82%. Last trade was at $45.09. So definite precursor, I mean, I'm sorry, push the go down bar. It has broken our area of support that we have drawn out for the extended period of time. So now this particular area of support will now act as resistance for Litecoin, but it is expected for Litecoin to at least come down to hit that $40 area as, res as resistance, I'm sorry, as support. And if we don't find any precursors of strength at the $40 area, then expect it to move lower then our next area of su pro probable support will be $36. So depending on how much precursors of weakness is still in this cryptocurrency market, that's what we're forecasting Litecoin to go to. So now let's go ahead and check out Dash. So Dash is down 19.68%. Last trade was at $239.88. Dash also, same just like the other cryptocurrencies, a push to go down bar. Forecasted for it to at least come down to 220. And if not 220, then it could possibly come all the way down towards 190 to like 175, $175 to $190. But overall, we're definitely trying to see Dash come down to $220. And we would like to see precursors of strength bars at this area before we will say it is perfect time for, you, for us to get into the market and start to buy this cryptocurrency. So right now, staying aside, being patient until the market turns. So before we put our money back in the market, so next, we're going to go ahead and check out NEO. Let's go ahead and put it on the one hour chart. So looking at NEO, you guys can see that they're down 19.9%. Last trade was at $16.10. Still don't see any precursors of strength for NEO, just like the rest of the cryptocurrencies. We're expecting it to move lower to possibly sideways. So if we move it to the daily chart. I don't necessarily think we see an area of support for NEO. Yeah, so currently we have to wait until we see NEO create an area of support. But currently, since we're still forecasting precursors of weakness for the other cryptocurrencies, then expect also NEO to follow that same trend. And that is lower. But as always, where Hufin News will be on it, we'll let you guys know when it gives us precursors of strength and when it's a problem predicted good time to enter back into the market. So now let's go ahead and check out Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic is down 27.55%. Last trade was at $10.32. We've made videos over the last couple of months saying that this area support that we have drawn was such an important vital area 
for Ethereum Classic that if it was to break this area and go lower, then it's definitely probable that it can come all the way down to seven dollars, possibly eight dollars. So be prepared if you guys are in Ethereum Classic for it to move possibly down all the way to eight dollars. OK, that is definitely, definitely past this area of support that has been holding quite strong for Ethereum Classic over the last couple of months. See, this is this is a glaring, glaring signal for everyone who's in the cryptocurrency market to see ethereum classic to break through this major area support so it's probable that ethereum classic will not move past this 13 dollar area for the next couple of months it's going to take quite a while probably for ethereum classic to come all the way back up and break through this 13 dollars because it was such effort such a push to break through this area of support that the market came and closed to ten dollars and twenty eight cents so just be prepared for ethereum classic to come to eight dollars and the way that the bar closed today the market is still giving us weakness and we're expecting it to move lower so now let's go ahead and check out monero so monero is down twenty two point two six percent last trade was at eighty six dollars and twenty two cents and yesterday in our video we forecasted them to move higher and it did that but the market could not sustain itself and it closed all the way down to the low of today's bar a definite push to go down market closed right here around the area of support but we're still due to this massive spread and where the bar closed at today on this push to go down then it's definitely probable that Monero will move lower, possibly around this $80 area, if not 80, then possibly somewhere in between 70 and 80. And if the market is still extremely weak, expect it to come all the way down to $60, which is still a probability given the fact that the overall market is, is, in, is in hysteria right now. So those are the areas that we're looking for precursors of strength to enter the market before we come in and maybe take a quick trade or just a whole long term. So we're expecting it to come down to 80. And then if not 80, then between 70, maybe around 75, 78. And then if not that, we're looking for $60, okay? So that's all we got for you guys here at Houston News. Just go back and check out our video that we did on September the 4th when the market had its first sell off. The market had a sell off right here. And it is where we came in and said that the market was getting prepared to make lower lows. And now today that finally came to fruition right here. And then the market traded a little sideways, a little high over the next three days. But then from there, the market completely collapsed. So we made our prediction here. So if you guys would have exit around these next three or four trading days, you guys would have definitely profited it. Then today's close all the way down 32.22 for Bitcoin. That is almost a thousand dollars difference if you guys would have exit your trade during this day. But well, that's neither here nor there. You know, you guys always get tomorrow, the next day. Just stand to the side. Be patient. We'll get more precursors of strength in the market. And we will also get more opportunities to trade because there's always opportunities in the markets to trade. It just becomes an issue when you don't understand the charts through the price bars and the volume. And that's why we're here. We're here to give you guys the opportunity to learn and see how you can also predict with confidence the, the likely move of these cryptocurrencies or any other security. It could be trading gold, it could be trading silver, it could be trading stocks, commodities, bonds, Forex. It really doesn't matter. You could go into any market and be profitable by simply looking at the price bars 
and the volume. But granted, it takes a lot more than just the couple of terminologies we've used periodically over these videos that we made over the last couple of weeks. So it takes a lot more than that. So that's why we just want to come on this on this channel to show you guys exactly how we can do it. But later on, we'll give you guys opportunity to learn this so you can have it for the rest of your lives. And also we we'll be able to pass it down to your family and your friends and your kids. So you can have this whenever they want to go into the market and invest. So that's all I got for today. You guys just need to be patient, stand to the side, wait till you wait until you get more precursors of strength in this market. And it comes in no surprise to us at Houston News because we saw this coming all the way back in the beginning of September that the market was changing. It was giving us a different look. And if those who were using indicators, it was too late because indicators are indicating later after the event has already occurred and for the retail traders or any investor who's on the outside they need to know before the actual move happens so they can get ahead of the wave before they actually become the wave so that's all i got for today appreciate the new subscribers like i said go back and check out our video that we made just some of the basic is the name of the video Go back and learn those terminologies so when we speak, you guys will have an understanding of what we're talking about. Appreciate the new subscribers, the comments, the likes, and the shares. You guys go ahead and continue to do that for us at Heathen News. We're trying to get this out to other individuals who would like to increase their knowledge of the market as well as understand this language and also to become more confident when they trade in the markets. So with that being said, I'll let you guys go. And we'll do another one tomorrow. You guys have a good one.